Hi guys, I am back after three years. A lot has happened. We moved in a new home. Uh, I sold my blue iguana because, uh, yeah, I had no breeding plans anymore. I still have my green iguana. The cage is a little boring now because she is laying eggs and she is pulling off everything of the walls. There's a little nest box. She laid as eggs yesterday. I'm gonna get that out and uh, there's a pond foil in there. I'll make it the uh, water uh, place where she can swim and stuff. But yeah, in the meantime, I got a lot of snakes. Some snake racks here, a uh, few uh, trariums there, a few trariums here. I am breeding snakes in these, yeah, three years. I I think my last video I made, yeah, was three years ago, three years ago. And on that day, last video, I got some snakes and it just exploded automatically. If you got snakes yourself and breeding them, you know how it's like. It just explodes out of nowhere. This is my new man cave slash snake breeding room. So yeah, this video is going to be long. I have no... Uh, I Yeah, I don't want to... Uh, to edit and copy and paste this video and such because that is one reason I didn't make a video in such a long time because I am precise in my work and it takes a long time to edit the video and make it fun so yeah I just didn't make one and I was just busy busy with work and school and animals so but someone asked me it was really uh, really sad that I didn't make any more videos so here I am making another video updating on, on how everything is going well yeah uh, some snakes um, just laid uh, clutches and had uh, offspring so I'm gonna show I'm just gonna show every snake how about that so I think this is gonna be a long video. Maybe I'm gonna make part one, part two. I don't know yet. I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm not gonna butter, butter hurry. My iguana, that's her name. I'm not gonna butter her because yeah, she just laid eggs and yeah, she needs some rest now. Yeah, it's a boring ass enclosure like this but I had vines and plants and all those, that shit and some branches in there but that's all gone now oh yeah shall I show my face face reveal hype hype face reveal oh my god <laughs> shall I show my face I'll show my face why not bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hi guys, this is what it looked like. Wait, just do this. Vlogging mode, vlogging style. Hi guys, so this is what it looked like. I lost some weight. Oh my god, he's so handsome. Oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> yeah, I lost some weight in the meantime. I'm still losing weight on the diet. Um, some more confidence to be behind the camera be in front of the camera I mean uh, yeah I'm looking in this uh, window so that's why I'm not looking directly in the camera but yeah I'm still not used to being in the spotlight so I am gonna look at the animals and not myself you don't have to look at my ugly face anymore <laughs> some people do it vlog style and talk about their animals well looking at themselves but I don't like that I'll just I'm yeah I like showing my animals when, when talking 
because maybe you miss out on some of the cool animal behavior and yeah so where shall I start oh yeah uh, I had a blue iguana well not a blue iguana and green iguana but it was eccentric morph so it was blue iguana but uh, I sold him because uh, yeah I wanted to breed breed with them um, but uh, yeah there is no no demand for iguanas as pets not that much so yeah and I didn't want to have all those little iguanas running around and stuff so when the breeding plans went out the window the blue iguana also went out the window and just to make space for snake racks so that is that I saw them I still have contact with the owner um, of Iggy now so that's cool he's doing great he has a red female iguana he has a nice uh, enclosure so yeah that's all good it's all great oh Willem the tortoise that was in this enclosure is also sold to someone who has a big pen outside and a lot of uh, turtles or uh, tortoises or how you pronounce that so yeah let's just go over some snakes I have uh, six uh, species I am breeding with I'm breeding with all my snakes I have uh, garter snakes here is a gravid female she can lay any moment now this is a garter snake oh yeah guys it is by the way it is feeding day so they may react oh, she's not reacting that much oh yeah she is oh it's not focused I, t I touched her and she reacted like oh, food food oh my god but yeah she's graphic she's really fat this is a uh, Themnophrys marcianus marcianus and it's an albino albino checkered garter snake also and she is really fat she's really nice looking I have already a clutch from uh, another albino uh, checkered garter snake so I'll show you in a moment, but they're all head for albino, so there are, they are uh, classics or wall types, how you want to call it. This is a boring, yeah, boring uh, view to look at, because it's just paper and some, some plants. And a big water bowl. So, that's it for this snake. Uh, by the way, disclaimer, I have not cleaned uh, the cages yet and I didn't have time to spot clean so you will find some uh, feces here and there or shedding so don't go hating on me like all these little tubs I still have to clean um, yeah to switch and clean but I have a new rack new temporary rack I want to sell this one because I'm breeding with snakes for three years now and I've bred a lot of snakes I have on, only have a uh, uh, little uh, how do you say it oh lord oh, I didn't show you <laughs> she was yawning I only have uh, snakes that stay little not big snakes and I want to uh, get some snakes that get a little bigger so I want to downsize with the small snakes and get some bigger stuff so that's the plans. I want to sell the these terrariums and make a really big, um, yeah, some really big uh, terrariums with uh, that kind of look like the the lower one. Oh boy, the battery is empty. So yeah, I think I'm gonna. Uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna wait I'm just gonna keep filming and just when it cuts out I'm just gonna put a new battery in that sounds good but what was I saying yeah I only have uh, snake snakes that stay little this one just uh, she just laid a clutch of uh, of of snakes they are life bearers this is a Thamnopis sirtalis infernalis. They are really beautiful. 
and they are looking for food. Look at those snakes. Little curious snakes, I love them. They're so cute and beautiful. Look at those snakes. They're coming to say hi. So this is a male and female. Most snakes, males stay a lot Males stay a lot smaller than females. I don't have any food right now. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get food in, in some time. Oh, I'm sorry. They got scared. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh my god. I'm still gonna keep some uh, little snakes. I mean snakes that stay little. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, the plans are to make a big terrarium enclosures where uh, some big snakes are gonna uh, be housed and I'm gonna sell these uh, snake racks and build a little snake rack, rack with some uh, big tubs, some little tubs and a few snakes in there. So I'm gonna downsize a little. Okay, those are the infernalysis. The, I mean, uh, what was they called in English? Um, Red-sided garden snakes. That's what they call. Oh, some shedding there. Yeah. Okay, this one I also need to clean. But oh yeah, by the way, this is yeah. She just laid uh, a few snakes, so that's why there's paper in here. But normally it is really nicely packed with wood and stuff to hide in and such so don't worry about it this, this, oh she's really hungry <laughs> look at them Mom. okay I am back I'm sorry for that the battery shut off and I forgot I went on holiday and lost the battery there so now I have a big bracket with just AA batteries in here okay so let's continue. This is. <laughs> Look at this. Mommy, what are those snakes doing? <laughs> what, parents? Explain that to your kids. These snakes are. At least the male wants to uh, go on the female. Because she just laid um, a clutch and she shed it so. She smells all nice to the males now and he wants to go under but female doesn't let them mostly. Oh, she saw my hand move. But the female doesn't let him because she just laid a clutch of eggs. Of, uh, no, never mind, they don't lay eggs. She just laid uh, some offspring, some young. I'm sorry, they, these uh, car snakes are life uh, breeders, that means they uh, yeah, live snakes pop out of them in a little sack. Look at how beautiful they are with those purple, like a vendor like colors. Albino checkered garter snakes. She's really hungry, most. Oh, don't get close. They are really, really food motivated. Look at them. Look at the male, tri male trying. <laughs> He's really trying hard. Um, I am gonna separate the the males and the females. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get the, all the females are gonna go in this uh, trium. All the males are gonna go in this trium, so I don't get uh, hybrids and so the males don't bother the females too much. Uh, she is just in here temporary because I put her in the little enclosure and she the day after I put her there she had litter so now I'll put her in this big one just for this moment who <laughs> saw that she's gonna bite my finger if I am not careful 
Oh, mostly. Ooh. Yeah, she almost had me. You saw that? <laughs> I was looking at the camera and she almost just bit my thumb. One time she bit my toe and just numbed on my toe. She tried to eat my toe fully. One time she ate uh, this mat. Some drop of fish uh, got on it and she tried to eat it. One time she even bit another snake. But they are really focused on food. These uh, garter snakes in general, they are really good eaters. But these uh, albino checkered garter snakes are really, really just crazy on food. It's really, yeah. You have to be careful also with babies because they can eat each other. When someone's eating food, the other is trying to steal it and they end up eating each other and choking on each other. So that's not good. Look at the male trying. He's trying his very best. Good deal. <laughs> Son, we need to have a conversation now about the birds and the bees. Yeah, that's what I do. It's mating ritual. Oh, same as with this one. They, the males crawl all over the females and they stroke them and she, you see, he's stroking her and massaging her and sometimes massaging, oh, look guys, here is the wild type, the classic uh, checkered garter snake. Oh, she almost bit me again. So these are albinos and this is a wild type. Also very beautiful. That's why I kept him. He is very skittish most, most of the time, but he is, oh, sorry. He is hungry now, so he just, he's gonna, oh, <laughs> almost bit my leg right there. So he's, they are gonna uh, go after uh, stuff that's moving and I do sometimes feed with tongue so they are very curious okay go back in here please don't bite me there you go I do have a snake hook but I'm too lazy to get it okay these are the some garter snakes I also have a couple of oh there it is no don't go back also have a couple of um Tamnophis uh Equius uh Verg or however you pronounce it in English. They are really beautiful white with blue with black Look at those beautiful snakes. They are not common. You might think that you have seen them, but oh, and it's gone. So this is a little enclosure for the time being because yeah, all the couples are together now, all the males with the females. So I needed one more enclosure because most of the year the females and the males are together and then it works out fine, but now I just have to keep them up separate. Oh, I don't want to scare you, man. I mean, girl. Most of my snakes have names, actually. I just named them. These are called Yin and Yang because of the black and white. That's cool. Look how curious they are. And they also have some offspring. So I have offspring of these, of those and those. And this female, I have a uh, normal uh, classic wild type uh, offspring. Because the normal man was on uh, that female and on this female. This female is gravid and can lay any moment now. Uh, the albino male went on this, so I will get a uh, young of uh, a normal's head for albino. That means they have the gen for albino in them, but are not visually uh, albino colored. 
and um, yeah, the others will be albinos. So that's cool. That is Kilio. Here are some um, red snake eggs I have. <clears throat> it's a project project I do with someone else, a friend of mine. I have a big uh, sto breeding uh, egg stove or incubator. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't think of some words. I have a big incubator, but these eggs need to be a little uh, lower in temperature than ball python eggs. So that are the second snakes I have. Red snakes. I'll just wait. I'll just name all my snakes for a second, because maybe you guys are waiting for some some snakes that you want to see. I have uh, garter snakes. That's one. I have red snakes. That's two. I have hogno snakes. I have rosy boas. I have sand boas, and I have ball pythons. So that's six at the moment. Tomorrow is Ham. That's a reptile expo in uh, Germany. That's one of the biggest. Uh, that that is one. That is the biggest uh, expo in the EU, I think, or one of the biggest. I have uh, ordered some uh, snakes, some boa constrictors. So I will be having bigger snakes oh yeah th those are the future plans I have told you about uh, downsizing in little snakes and getting big enclosures for bigger snakes so uh, the plan is um, the creme de la creme I want on top of my list are eastern indigo snakes they are so freaking beautiful and yeah I'm gonna search for them and wait and just build enclosures and wait until I find them in the meantime I am also going to get a couple of boa constrictors and a couple of super dwarf dwarf retics so I have three uh, bigger snakes a couple so six bigger snakes I am going to get in the future and downsizing in little snakes so that is the the whole plan and I am getting a low battery signature on the camera right now so I am gonna uh, refill all those AA batteries in a second if when the video is gonna cut out so I'm sorry if the video cuts out in mid-sentence I don't want to, that to happen but yeah it's I can't do anything about it. Okay, uh, well, you already see little snake. Oh yeah, stupid story. Uh, the infernalis, the infernalis, the the garter snakes, the red-sided garter snakes. Uh, she laid a clutch. I keep saying clutch. She laid young, and. Um, Wait, where is my where is my microphone? Am I covering my microphone? Okay, guys, I'm gonna uh, stop this video and rewatch my footage, and then get some new batteries, and then I'm gonna talk some uh, yeah about snakes further. So I'll be right back. Hello, I am back again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, so one battery was was leaking and stuff. Stupid ass. <sighs> Where did I end? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. I'm just rambling. I have not prepared making this video at all. It's just uh, I always postpone making a video, and doing that I am three years uh, further now. So yeah. I'm just making it. I'm just winging with it. That's what I. That's when I. That's why I said this is gonna be a long ass video. I'm just fuck, sucking everything out of my thumb, showing all my animals off to you guys. So uh, I was talking about my garter snakes. So three uh, females was uh, laid uh, 
babies let's look at some babies so this is my snake rack some different species are in this snake rack right now let's see let's focus these are the babies of these two <laughs> look at them oh, someone's moving there oh my god it's so interesting he is so interesting to look at oh my god look at how beautiful they are look at how gorgeous this, these snakes are oh my god and there are almost none of them in the AU also with we really weird also with the uh, these checkered garter snakes the albi albino ones I I looked for two years or no one year fully like I could not find them anywhere and I got my hands on a few just f here and there and uh, now I have four I have two pairs and most of the albino and head albino checkered garter snakes you come across the Netherlands and uh, surrounding uh, areas they come from me because I I produced a lot of them in these three years they both lay uh, babies every year and around 30 or 40 babies and some of them are heads for albino some of them are uh, albinos themselves and yeah you don't see them on on expos and such maybe uh, more and more because three years uh, two females like 30 to 40 babies i think you're gonna see them more and more and <laughs> i think most of them are gonna come from me <laughs> it's uh, funny by the way i closed the window so m no more stupid auto noises noises oh hey google Play some non copyrighted music. Okay, play non copyrighted music on Spotify. Thank you, Google. So, a little big background sound. That's maybe better because I'm not editing this shit. Okay, um, let's look at them. I'm. I'm. <laughs> hey, Google. Oh. Okay, Google. Volume 2. That's better. Okay, Google. Next song. I'm sorry. I'm just all over the place. Okay, snakes. Okay, here we go. You see here a little tiny baby. They are little tiny ones. They haven't eaten yet. Let's open it slowly, else they get scared. Some of them are really curious, looking what's going on. None of my snakes are used to a big camera in their face. So here are some snakes. Again guys, disclaimer, I haven't cleaned my snakes or spot cleaned the cages before I filmed. So the, they are animals, they poop and pee and stuff. Deal with it. If you're gonna get snakes or any animal, they're gonna do it too, and it's not gonna be a fairy tale where you don't have to clean and the cages are gonna be clean all times. So, yeah. But these are the babies of these two. Of the. Okay, guys, I'm back once again. The SD card was full. <laughs> Fucking Christ! Okay, now I know with an uh, empty SD card I can film for 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna show you all the snakes and talk about the in individual snakes and their behaviors and such another time. How does that sound? Wait, I'm gonna... Look at this nice switch. Oh my god. I'm a tech nerd, sorry. I'm gonna put on the, the lights. Maybe some better views. Uh, but yeah, these are the babies of the Infernalis Equius Vergitanius. Vergitanius, however you call it. Look at them. They haven't eaten yet. They are a few days old. Look at those. Oh, wait, I can tilt my screen. That is way better. They're just looking at the camera like, what the fuck is this? 
They're so curious little snakes. They're so funny. Look at this. They're so funny. They're just following you and they're so cur curious. It's a little skittish because they're just born. They are a little different color than the parents because the curl, the the curls are still uh, still need to kick in. Which I have like uh, ten to fifteen of these. <coughs> the others are hidden in the, the the other places. These are also garter snakes. These are from the infernalysis, from the red-sided garter snakes. And there they go. Nope, they are not gonna sit still. Okay, well, that's too bad. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Fuck, I need to focus on the camera, but I only have one hand. Okay. Let's see. They are really nice looking. Also, a little dull in color the, the, uh, than the parents. They still need to get a little, a little more. Uh, um, yeah, a little more uh, nice contrast in their color. They get that when they get a little older. I have like 7 to 10 of these in here. So let's put them back. They have never eaten yet. There are some feces here and there, as you can see. Don't skitter out of the enclosure, please. Okay. That's that. I found these, by the way, all over my floor and all over the place because they escaped from here through this crack through the window. So that sucked. It really sucked. Okay, and uh, these are the uh, checkered ones They're, these are like 30 to 40 but I don't think you will see them all these are the wild types oh and they all skitter away let's see I am hovering above them so they are scared like <laughs> let's see how much are under there oh just a few let's see if I can get a close-up shot. It's not really close though. Yeah. Oh, here's one. Ah, the lighting sucks. But there, yeah. That's these. They are also really beautiful. These are the wild, the wild types, so that's why I have a clutch of wild types and albinos because then people can choose between them or just get one of both so those are all my gara snakes um, yeah I'm gonna just spit through them right now <clears throat> I'm just gonna make more videos and just talk about random stuff when you guys comment I want to see this snake can you tell me more about that snake Okay, I'm just gonna make this update video what I have. Okay, let's go to uh, hognose snakes. I have three of those at the moment. I had, uh, how many did I have? I had five, but two died when I, get from, when I got them from the expo. I don't know why, maybe they had something. This is a wild classic female, wild type female. It's adult female, she just laid three slugs, so no babies from her. I got one baby last time from her. Let's see, do we see some eggs? No. They are really neat. I love their little character and little faces. They are bluff snakes. They do hiss and pretend to attack. They are a little venomous, but only it's only gonna get worse when you're bitten and when you're aller allergic mostly and I have one more female in here this is just a hide spot a hide spot and a water ball and a moist 
uh, spot thingamajiggy. So normal female, one female is hiding under here. This is, oh, she's crawling away. Oh, there she comes. This is a morph, this is a anaconda head of fur albino. She's really nice getting there, getting there to breed. Let's zoom out a little bit. Are you gonna let me grab you? Yes. Look at this nice black belly. Oh my god. Look how neat they look. They're so cute. <laughs> they are so cute. I'm gonna put you down. This one's got lady. And I have a male in here. An albino, a uh, yellow albino, albino male. He is called Sir Hisselot. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna grab him. There he is. There he is. See, I touch him. He's gonna be all hissy and pissy. I'm gonna strike. It's their bluff character. See, it's so funny. They're so drama queens. They are so funny. Look at that nice belly. They're so fun snakes. And I had a couple of red albino anacondas. But unfortunately they died. Fuck. Because my plans were to breed uh, super anaconda albi red albinos. But yeah, that didn't win as planned. Yeah, yeah, he's all pissy and pissy. Look at him. Look at him. He just striked at me. He always strike with the with the mouth closed, just hitting you. Someone is escaping. Come back in here. Okay, those are my hognose snakes. No clutch yet from them. Then my sand boas. Why not? Oh, I have a gravid female sand boa. She can lay any moment now. They are so cute. Look at him. This is the male. He is called Rambo. Just, he is head snow, so head Henry and head, uh, well, oh, there he goes. Just, he doesn't want to be bothered. Head Henry and head albino. That mean, that's double head snow. There he goes. And a really big sausage, sausage uh, female. They are so funny. That's why I got them. They are so different from other snakes and like you see they burrow they are burrowing snakes they're uh they live at night oh and there she goes oh that's too bad they have such cute heads because they peek with their head out of the the, the stuff and wait for a mouse to to walk by so their eyes are on top of their head it makes them so cute okay now my rosy boas let's see I have two localities. This is a Bay of LA locality. A little male and a gravid female. She can lay any moment now. Uh, boas are all uh, life bearers, by the way. They don't lay eggs. Just like um, the garter snakes. So sand boas lay life young and all, uh, rosy boas lay, lay yeah, life young. Oh my god, I can talk. <laughs> Jesus. They are, so, they are also so cute. These are Bay of LA localities. I'm sorry. Look at, look at how fat she is. Oh my god. They are so pretty. Like a metallic type and like a metallic color. A dark brown reddish color so beautiful snakes also uh, not a lot of them in the AU also because they lay around six young but this is gonna be the th third no the, yeah the third clutch of them uh, babies I keep saying clutch I also have a lighter lighter, lighter locality some poop there, but yeah, deal with it. 
<laughs> these are animals. I'm sorry. These are San Felipe rosy boas. They are uh, called Lichenura, Lichenura uh, Trivigata Sasloi. And the locality is San Felipe. They are also really beautiful. I think these are two females. I am not too sure. Oh, let me focus a little. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh my god, I'm so doing such a bad job. Look at those nice colors. They're like they're silvery snakes. Oh, let me let me put her back so I can just film her. Those cute little heads. I have no idea why, but my camera just automatically stopped filming. Maybe it was too long. Maybe it can't take uh, such a long video on the SD card. So I'll just record it again. But okay, these are my sand fleet rosy boas. I think there are two females. Oh, one is under here. Ta da! <laughs> Not, oh, I'm spilling some water. Oh, oh crap. I just put it on, on them. They don't mind. Ah, oh, let me sit down for a second. Hello. They are really uh, boas are mostly slow moving snakes. They're not that uh, energetic or uh, they are energetic. They are curious and stuff and friendly, but they're not like skittering right away. Look at this! How far she's <laughs> coming out. Really friendly snakes are these. Rosy boas are uh, known for their friendliness and not to bite and such. Even wild ones. <laughs> me saying that, she would bite me instantly. <laughs> that always happens with animals. Yeah, they never bite. Ha! They bite you. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is feeding day, so. Yeah, there was a possib possibility that she would bite. Okay, these are my four rosy boas. I don't have any uh, uh, babies at the moment. Okay, next. My, uh, I showed you this clutch in another uh, part of my videos. So let's look at those. My red snakes or Gudata. Gudata? Uh, Elafa Gudata Gudata, I think. Um, how am I going to show them? Oh, there is the male. He's really hungry. Also really focused on food, these snakes. Look how beautiful they are. Look how nice they look. This is the male. Just, I'm just... And let me show you what I'm doing. I'm just doing this, then he comes right towards it because I'm feeding them so he knows me. He, yeah, he don't knows me, but he knows human hand means food. Look at how nice they look. These are uh, a male and female. They are a head for a bunch of stuff. They are motley, so and that means they have a different pattern than uh, the normal wild type uh, wild type uh, red snakes, but they are the same color. So they are head for scaleless. So uh, this is a project with a friend of mine, and we wanted to breed some scaleless snakes. Just know how to f just yeah. We were just curious how they feel and how they they work and such. And yeah, just keep them some behind and breed with them uh, the next time and and yeah, etc, etc. So they are head for a bunch of stuff like uh, Amal, Henry, uh, Motley, Stripes, uh, no they are Motley uh, for Car Caramel and Scalus, uh, yeah, they are head for a bunch of stuff. Okay. The, the, I have a couple of those, so I only have two of those. Red snakes and a nice clutch of eggs from them. 
19 eggs and one bad egg. The one bad egg is stuck is stuck to two good eggs, but the, the two good eggs don't seem to be bothered by it. I candled them and they all still look fine. And I dropped the lid. They all still look fine. So let me get the lamp. Yeah. I need two hands to focus my camera, so it's not all that ideal. I don't have an automatic focusing camera. So yeah, this camera is mostly for taking picture, taking pictures and not filming. But it's nice quality, so okay. Next snakes, I think the last ones. Those are ball pythons. I always swore off ball pythons. I said fuck those snakes are boring ass turds. I've never, I'm never gonna get them, and then uh, I looked some a bit in the, into the genetics, into the morphs, and what you can breed, what colors, what patterns, and so. Doing that, I got sucked into ball pythons, and now I, I have a bunch of ball, ball pythons. This I have a bunch of uh, females that are single gen, genetic. Uh, like this one, this is a low white calico female. There she comes. I still think they're a little boring, but mostly the most of them have a really frightened uh, character because they are head shy. When you touch their head, they get skittish and move away instantly. Not like other snakes which you can pet under the chin and such. So nice, low white. Oh, she's getting away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bother you. Let me put you back in your cage. She needs upgrade. I am gonna upgrade. I have a new uh, snake rack in my basement, which I can show you in a second. I'm gonna upgrade all these snakes to bigger enclosures, like the V35s. Uh, these are V18s, Vision 18s. Okay, th uh, this is a clutch from previous year. I made myself. Well, I didn't make. I breed my. <laughs> I bred myself. This is a nice female, a holdback female. This is a what was it called? Oh, let me see. Its uh, pattern is pinstripe. It's a uh, Enchi. Uh, and she fire pinstripe head uh, genetic stripe possibly head ghost They have nice green eyes Yes, look at those eyes. Look at those nice head That is the deal with ball pythons breeding nice patterns breeding nice nice colors just crossing them with each other and Getting nice stuff out of it, but it still stays a little, a little bit boring snakes, in my opinion. They just don't have a lot of character and... Yeah. Okay, I have two of those, two female hotbacks. This is the exact same color. Hey Google. Okay Google. Next song. I, <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear the songs. This nice pattern, nice colors. I don't know if the camera picks up the colors because it's bad lighting in here. But yeah, that is also. Uh, I forgot the genetics. <laughs> okay, then I have another female out of that clutch with a little different uh, genetics. She is a uh, pastel. Oh, what is she? She is a. Um, and she pastel fire head genetic stripe possibly had ghost so she has no pinstripe but she does have oh she is in deep shed that's a bummer because she is one of the most beautiful ones in my opinion she is really beautiful mostly just really nice uh, bright yellow but now she's really dark because she is in shed 
No, why you do this? Why this moment? That also happens guys, when you make videos, some stuff is gonna be in shed and that sucks. And you can't, can't form their potential, potential colors. So that is female, this is empty, I still need to clean this. Just leave it a little open. This is the male I got out of the clutch. I kept, this is a fire pin stripe. Also 100% head genetic stripe, 66% uh, head ghost with a little dirt and shedding also looking for a handout I'm sorry man this next snake this is another project this is a black pastel head for lavender albino I think lavender albino is one of the most beautiful morphs out there this is a male so beautiful male Okay, this is the female that I bought with him. This is a Mo Moyavi head lavender albino female. Getting a nice size. Also up for an enclosure upgrade. A top upgrade. Moyavi is yeah, these these colors <laughs> like you see. I like really nice yellows and whites and blacks and fade outs okay what's in this one? Oh, I already showed you that's the same female as that one then I have four of these these are all uh, double head clown 66% head uh, albino so double head clown albinos this is a little male, he's in shed right now. That's why he's not shedding too well. That's why he's probably laying in his water bowl. This is a female, getting nicely um, weight to it, her. Also up for an enclosure upgrade. This is also a female. Also up for upgrade. This is also a female, but she eats uh, life rodents oh yeah guys I uh, I feed almost all my snakes frozen even my ball pythons so only a few of them eat the li life so this is a this is what a classic or a wild type looks like like how they look in the wild oh really nice color if you ask me I love wild types but she is double head so she has uh, genetics for two uh, two colors but they don't show yeah I'm not going to go into I'm sorry just automatically stopped filming again but I said I'm not gonna go into uh, the genetics further how they uh, how they are this is a Moyavi vanilla 100% head ghost female nice female getting breeding sized a little this is oh, empty this now this is not empty the, those are the uh, checkered gar clutch this is a also in shed a uh, black pastel head ghost female also getting nicely uh, fed nicely weight uh, she is also getting a nice weight for breeding not quite there yet, but she's getting there. Oh, I have my container here, so by third. This is a black pastel. It's a little darker in color, just like that male, but somewhat bigger female. Head ghost. And this is a also not really good shed female. This is a leopard female. nice pattern and black color some shed stuck there but it's gonna go good I have no no worries that's gonna go bad these are the rosy boas also rosy boas um, uh, what they call hognose snakes 
The, this is a really nice one. I have no idea if you can pick up the color, if the camera can pick up the color. This is a really nice color. Look at this, blue with orange and yellows and oh my god, this is so, such a beautiful snake. This is a, a hidden gem Woma ghost, female. Also getting a nice size to her. Look at this color, isn't this insane? Look at that. The camera doesn't even pick up the, the color that good. Isn't that just beautiful? Let me let me zoom out a little. I'm sorry, I'm putting you in your water bowl. Look at this beautiful, beautiful female. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I'm disturbing you. Look at these beautiful colors. Look at this tail, oh my god, it's almost blue. Look at this, it's just purple blue. Look at those sick colors with the white stri with the yellow stripe over her back. Oh my god, I'm in love with this snake, guys. And it's not even that, that crazy a gen genetic. It's just that beautiful. These are my sand boas. These are this is a male, this is the first, oh no, 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 this is the second male, uh, the, the third male. I had a fire pinstripe male, but they are not breeding size. I have a um, black pastel head and albino male, and this is my breeding male. This is a banana. Oh, oh no, I'm getting, I'm getting a, a sign that my camera is too hot. Well, yep, that happens in a snake room. I'm sweating. Oh, what is it saying? I'm sweating buckets. I am sweating like, oh my god, I'm sweating so much. This is a banana head genetic stripe. 100% head genetic stripe. Really nice male. He is breeding and locking with a lot of females, but no clutches yet. This is the third year. It's not going that great with ball python clutches for me, so that's also a reason why I want to downsize them. It's a pity, but yeah, no breeding luck. In those three years, I only had one clutch that came out, and those are some holdbacks from it. Now to the other other females. This female. Just let a clutch, so my second clutch. I hope they come out. This is a, sorry, girl. This is a pastel, 100% head ghost. Just chilling on the heat mat. Okay, let's, let's not disturb you further. Here you go. Okay, let's close it. This is the second drawer. This is a genetic striped female, which the banana had genetic stripe locked with a few times, but she is not that fat. She is not laying any eggs. She laid eggs the previous year, and that was the no, wait, yeah, this was a glitch from her. She didn't. She laid last year the above one, the pastel head ghost, but uh, they were infertile the eggs, and this time they are fertile. So this is a genetic stripe female. Genetic stripe female just hiding in here. Is she grab it? Oh my God, she is really fat. Look at this, guys. This is her tail. Nice. But she, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if her trust is just going on, she is fat. <laughs> because they're all fat. <laughs> yeah, so my genetic stripe female. I also had a, um, I also had a uh, genetic stripe yellow belly female. She was my first ball python. She was really big and really my most beautiful snake in my opinion. And she was, 
Uh, she had eggs and she just instantly died one day. That, that's also a downer with animals. They can just suddenly die. It's really funny, sh shitty and crap, if you ask me. It's always shitty when her animal dies. But she was my first one and she was the most beautiful and she was full of eggs and she just died all of a sudden. So setbacks, setbacks, a lot of setbacks. This is a pastel head genetic stripe female. Also for uh, my uh, banana. She had, I bought her and from a breeder, a really, uh, really nice good breeder. I really trust them, I still do, but she got um, flagellate, flagellate when I got her. I have no idea how you call it in English. But yeah, I had to go to the to the uh, vet and get some pills for it. This one's also under it. Let's see. This is a normal female head, 100% head lavender albino. So I just bought her for my black pastel 100% head lavender albino male to breed with and maybe get a lavender albino female. I'm still getting a signature that my camera is too hot. But I am getting to the end. This is my last snake. Also a really beautiful one. Also a nicely sized female. It, it oh, also in a deep shed. This is a butter ghost. Oh no, 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 I have one more uh, snake. I need to show you guys. A butter snake. She most most of the time is really nice yellow color, but maybe I can zoom in on those eyes. How how dull they are. No, you can't see that. I'm sorry, girl. I want to show the folks. No, you, the camera doesn't pick it up. No, she is really dull in color right now. She is deeply, deeply in shed. So that's also a bummer. Mostly she is really nice yellow color. That is also a bummer. Well, she. Oh, by the way, in this rack, this is also a nice looking rack. Uh, I mean, terrarium enclosure thingamajiggy. I had crested geckos. So that's why I have these. But this is like really nice uh, little enclosures for babies. I'm gonna put my uh, garter snakes in here, my uh, red snakes, and baby uh, baby rosy boas and baby sand boas. So little different habitats like uh, like. I don't know, forest, jungly type. This is a little foresty type. This is a little desert type. This is also a rocky, rocky forest type. You can't see it that well. Those are rocks and hiding places and such. This is a more, um, yeah, more grass. Uh, I can't come. I can't find the words right now, but yeah, you saw it. Okay, last male. This is a male I got uh, those hold bags from. He bred with my genetic stripe female. Really nice male. I put him here because he is a really, really bad, bad eater when he is breeding females. He does not eat at all. I'm sorry, boy. He only wants to go to the females. And he just doesn't eat and gets smaller and smaller and smaller and his size is going down a lot and yeah to the point which I am going to worry about him so I put him in the closet away from the other snakes Look how beautiful yes I can't focus the camera right now This is a breeder male. I have his 
I have bred a few times with him, so. Yeah, he's a really nice male. But I have put him in the closet. A little dark place away from all those female smells. And he is eating little by little now. He ate two times already. He was double in size, guys. He was really... Okay, so... I'm sorry. The, the, it stopped falling again. But he was really big in size. He was bigger than the banana. <clears throat> And when he is in breeding mode, he doesn't eat and doesn't eat for a while. So, I mean, when he stops breeding, he also doesn't eat. So, it's a bummer. I have to put him separate in a little quarantine bag, a uh, quarantine uh, tub. And wait for him to eat again. He ate two times. I think he, he didn't eat in like, I don't know, a few months. Get, in, get back in there, I'm sorry. The lighting isn't that good in here. He's a really nice color. This, oh, I forgot to say what he is. He is a... What is it? Uh, he is a dragonfly, Anchi dragonfly head ghost. So, that is Anchi fire pastel pinstripe 100% head ghost. So it's a nice man. I have just a, one, a heat mat on, on there. So, yeah, getting me in hot. Just leaving this open so he has natural light. And yeah, he's eating again. Not every week, but once, once a month or so, once every three weeks. Oh, yeah, let me. Uh, show you guys my other rack because this rack, this is a LP uh, rack with vision tubs. It was really, really expensive. I, uh, there are two layers added here, even, and it's really expensive. And I want to downsize in snakes, so I'm just gonna sell it and got a temporary. Um, I got a temporary uh, snake rack. Oh, I can show you the eggs at the same time. Oh, and my breeding, uh, breeding my reds and mouse. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. This is my incubator, but <laughs> I have computer fans in there and they have blue LEDs. <laughs> That's nice. I'll turn on the lights. Let's see, light. This is two lights. Okay. Oh, my mom, put, my mom put it back. Okay, this is my um, nice fridge, Horika fridge. With glass. Oh no, I got a sign that the battery is empty again. What? I just put in new batteries. But this is a clutch from my Anchi Dragonfire Head Ghost times Pastel Head Ghost. Six nice eggs. Nice looking eggs, they all have nice veins, I candled them. Only this egg, the mom uh, was wrapped around these eggs and laying on this egg. That's why it's so weirdly shaped and it had a little bit of fungus on it already. So I just br brush it, brushed it off and it has nice good veins. I candled it, it is fertile, but I don't have high hopes for that egg. I really hope this clutch is gonna hatch because I want some nice combos in ghost form. These are some reds, these are lap uh, tubs, lap, lap, I have no idea what you call them in, in English. Some reds in here and some mice are breeding for me. Let me show you. Oh, I can't open it because of the. Here's one baby red, just put it apart because these are all big big reds. And here are some mommy and daddies. So yeah, breeding breeding some reds and mouse. This is my new temporary wooden enclosure of wooden rack I got. 
where I can put my snakes in in the meantime and sell my LP rack. It's nice tops for I mean it's a little between medium size and small size between V uh, 18s and V35 so it's okay. Yeah. That is that. So yeah, I think that's it. And I'm sweating buckets like motherfucker. I'm sorry, I cursed. I mean, I'm sweating buckets like oh my god. Oh, I don't mind. So, yeah, that's that. And my nice shake, my <laughs> diet shake. Yeah. Uh, future plans of oh, I already told you about it. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, I had so much to tell you guys. I don't even know where to start, and now I'm just my mind. My mind's just blank. I think, guys, I'm gonna call it here. This is gonna be the end of the video. When you want to see something new uh, uh, or uh, or you have questions about something, about the species, about the care, about whatever you want to see. You want to see the feeding video, want, you want to see me handle my iguana, etc, etc. Just ask me. Uh, I am not gonna promise I'll make a video about it because I'm lazy and I have work and I have not a lot of free time on my hands to be honest. But I love making videos and filming and showing you guys my animals, so just ask it, I will or tell you a whole like one page long story about how to do shit or I don't know, I just make a short video and just upload it for you. So yeah, there's that guys. I can feed my iguana some stuff. Let's do that. I haven't shown you my iguana that much. Let's see. I want to give her some gecko dust, some iguana pellets, and some gelatin. Because she just laid eggs yesterday. She's all skinny again. Well, okay, she's not skinny from this angle because also because she is leaning on on that branch, which is precisely yeah up in her stomach. So I'm just gonna show you. Uh, I'm just gonna let you see me feeding these pellets because it would take some time to prepare the gecko dust and to prepare uh, yeah. The, the gelatin shit. Well, not prepare it, but to. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna make this video much longer because my battery is empty again. Jesus Christ, it's way too fast. Is this a good angle? I have to focus my video and then I can feed her because I only have one hand left. Look at this. Look at this. Here. Nice pellets. Oh, she's scared of the camera, guys. I don't know what she's gonna eat. Here, some nice pellets. Who like those? They're like candy for you. Yeah, she doesn't like the camera at all. Yeah. No, she does not want to eat. She's like, there's a big lens in my face. Get that out of here. Get. Get, get, get out of here with your shit! The color is getting back a little bit, but she's really dark color right now. Hi guys, so this is the last video. Uh, my iguana didn't want to eat yesterday. Um, my SD card was full, so uh, yeah. That was annoying and it took some time to put it on the computer so yeah it took some time and um, 
Today was HUM, I went to HUM, the expo, biggest one in Europe and I got some uh, stuff and some uh, bow constructors so yeah my gonna didn't want to eat anyway yesterday so she was like in shock of the camera she's just eating there right now uh, yeah I I know I mentioned a few things wrong like some some names of the snakes and some things I thought uh, yeah I mixed up and stuff don't blame me I am really 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 tired right now um, I drove like I don't know eight hours or something and I didn't get any sleep I couldn't sleep I don't know why uh, yeah I'm really tired it's, it's a hot day I'm sweating walking around in the expo and yeah I'm gonna show you some stuff right now this is the last video oh yeah by the way I forgot some snakes I also have a uh, adult female uh, ball python uh, fire she's really big my biggest snake I have she is like almost three kilo kilos I have no idea uh, yeah I have no idea how much that is in your country but you can just google it um, and I have a uh, adult head albino also like two kilos uh, two and a half something like that and I also have a male upstairs he was in quarantine and it's a uh, Enchi head lavender albino and he can come out of quarantine because he's been there a while now so I think over two months maybe three months so yeah these new boas I got they are going, go going to go in quarantine and I am so freakishly tired right now guys it's 12 o'clock at night and I just wanted to make this last part of the video this is some stuff I got at the expo some thermostats some I got some deal on an auction so it's a lot of stuff it comes from there and a lot of stuff I bought separately at the expo like these almost all these things except these and this 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 and that I got that yeah I'll just show you some stuff these are keramic uh, heat sockets for light bulbs a uh, temperature habistat uh, digital because I really like these and these things freaking suck by the way they are on a high temperature because I have the feeler on the mat so that's that uh, some I bought some snake bags some term thermal or uh, uh, thingamajiggies you know for humidity and temperature some of those uh, power sun really nice I have it with my iguana but I wanted the new one because the UV of that one is almost gone got some uh, alcoholic gel you can clean your hands with I got some uh, minerals for my iguana some for my snakes this is without D3 some bending vines, some nice hiding place thingamajiggy, some lamp cap, some stupid ass shitty height lead uh, heat bulbs and then gonna use some folders here and there, some people. This is just uh, excuse me, pardon me. This is just um yeah some stuff I can put in the snake cages and we also went to, uh, on the way back, we also went to uh, Zoo uh, Zayak. I don't know, it's the biggest uh, animal store in, the, in Europe. So we went there and I bought that con for my dog because it's her favorite toy. It doesn't break. I have an American Stafford, so she wrecks everything I get and that thing survives for so long and she totally loves it 
So I uh, made some uh, shitty ass uh, uh, curtain tops for them because I'm really tired. I just want to go to sleep. It's just for now, just temporary. I'm gonna fix it. Don't worry about it. But for now, for this night, I'm gonna put them in that and they will survive. I'm gonna put a, a, a thermostat and a, a heat cable under there. So don't worry. I'm going to show you guys the snakes in a second. What did I want to tell more? Um, yeah, it was a really shitty day at the start because because two times we had the wrong directions in our navigation and it took like, I don't know, three hours of our time to get there so it was really bummer and yeah, it was just so such a pain in the ass but we got there eventually we got the snakes we got the stuff yeah so let's uh, look at what shall I do I'll go upstairs just bear with me for a second guys I'm gonna take you guys with the snakes I'm gonna show you guys the snakes so I'll show you guys the snakes here um or upstairs I'll just show you guys here and then I'll I'll show you guys here and then I will put them in the uh, the uh, enclosures this is some paperwork for the snakes thank you very much these are snakes I really need a tripod mm -hmm. let me get my tripod and there it is a little tripod there we go because I need two hands let's see let's zoom out okay let's do a bit some is this okay just gonna flip the screen a little like this is this okay you can see me okay so I got a male and female, they are boa constrictors, they are albino cows, uh, they are, uh, at least female is a motley, and uh, they are head henry, so they are kinda, yeah, head snow. Uh, I really like this female, she is really nice, I wanted the female. And I got the male with it because I wanted to buy the female because I wasn't love on first sight. It was just love on first sight. I loved her, and I asked, asked the price. She was 130 euro, only the female. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh my god. It is really tiny and really beautiful. I will give you guys a close-up. Is it focused? I will give you guys a close-up when it is in its tub. Yeah, the lighting is really bad. Look at this. This is the male. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. One of the most beautiful boas I've ever seen. Very nice purple color and whites and yeah guys I'm just I'm gonna put it back I'm gonna go upstairs because this is not working out great just bear with me I've, <laughs> I've never done an unpacking with snakes I'm gonna take the tripod with me because I kind of need it it's very handy we're gonna go upstairs, my other snake is also upstairs with, uh, I mean the, and she had lavender male, I have, just bear with me guys, I'm very tired, I don't know what I'm doing, I, uh, my mom is in the living room watching some TV, 
Guys, this last part, I'm so sorry for this. I'm just baked. I am blank. I want to go to sleep. But I wanted to show you guys. This is just some tubs. Here is the other meal. Some tubs for now. The lighting in here is way worse. So, yeah. You guys are not gonna enjoy the 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 visuals on those animals very much. <sighs> so yeah, this is just temporary. I'm gonna fix this shit right after the video. I'm just tired. I wanna get this over with because yeah, I wanna have the video complete and upload the video. And get it over with. I won't always take so long and then I lose lose interest and lose the the focus to finish the video. So I know I am really crappy at making videos and vlogs and I am only good at showing animals. I mean foaming animals. I'm good at foaming animals and that's it. <laughs> but not like this. This is like the vlogger style and the unpacking. Look uh, how beautiful. I don't even think you guys can see the, the neat colors on this thing. It is. I wanted to say it is so freaking beautiful but my camera automatically stopped filming. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this up guys. I have, I have enough of this camera and this, yeah. But now, if you, yeah, now you guys, guys have seen it, this is the male. I think I'm gonna name him Casper. Casper the friendly ghost, you know, because he's white. Go in your hide, go in, go in your little hide. They are really tiny. No, okay. I'm just gonna put you in here. I'm gonna. Oh, wait, I wanna put the meal in here. I'm sorry. I wanna put the meal in here. Go in a little hide. A little hide for you. You won't be safe. Yes, here. <laughs> I always want to put them in a the little hide because they will feel more safe. Okay. He doesn't want to go in a little hide. Okay, he wants to scoot around. There are little holes in it. Don't worry. I will heat it up and set some stuff. But all I want to do is <laughs> get some sleep actually. This is the female she is. She is the thing I want, went for. She's the thing I fell in love with. Look at this guys, this is what, what I fell in love with, look at these nice red markings, this is really annoying because I don't have the camera in my hands and focusing the camera and such, because that is what I'm good at and not filming with a tripod and just going over the colors in her and her name is going to be Daisy because of the, the flower she reminds me of the flower flower look at how nice the tail is it's all orange and stuff All of a sudden it is brighter so yeah there is a daisy my new boa constrictors my first big snakes from ham I'm sorry girl I'm gonna put you in your little tub 
she doesn't want to go in the trap. Oh snakes when I put her head no you don't you don't just want to climb on me. Oh snakes when I put the head first in tubs. <laughs> she pisses me with her little snout. They just she they only want to climb up and climb. I already love their character. Okay, that's closed. Okay, now to do some better filming because I need this tripod stuff and this, yeah. Oh, by the way, this is the meal that was in quarantine. I probably should not take them out right now. There is, it's an Enchi at Lavender Albino meal. Also, terrible lighting, so. Why when I zoom in, it gets dark? I don't know why. But there he is, guys. There he is, he's going downstairs in with the other snakes. He is all checked out. Pardon me. Okay, let's see if I can get some nice close-ups without me getting in the way of the light oh, this is almost impossible uh, I'm just tired guys I wanna go to sleep really hey Daisy look at how nice her eyes look like lavender purple Orange tail. They're so curious. They're so intelligent looking. Like not even scared. They've been in a bag all day. They are young babies. They don't know what's going on and they're not scared at all. This is the one to climb and investigate. I am already in love with these this species of snake. Easily enough. I'm gonna fill those water bottles. Some water hide, some dry hide, heat, and bag. This one's also going around. Yeah, guys, you guys will see a lot more of them in the future. I, I'm sure of it. And update on how they grow and stuff. But for now, they are going in quarantine. These are just tubs I found for the time being because they need something I need I mean I need something I can put them in for now and I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm tired I didn't sleep I drove all day I walked all day I had to pay attention all day for nice snakes hey guys I probably forgot like 10 things I wanted to tell you guys and why I wanted to make this end video but I forgot them all so yeah guys thanks for watching my update thank you for being here and maybe I'll see you next time bye bye and now I have to turn and route <laughs> to say really goodbye bye bye guys